guys, what is up and welcome back to a brand new video and today we are going to be over going over my top 10 update ideas for rules of survival. So buckle up. Let me know if you guys do enjoy any of these um, like ideas. If you guys had similar ideas, anything like that, go ahead down in the comments right now. Pause the video. Tell me if you have any ideas and maybe our ideas will match up. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying my ROS content. I love rules of survival and it's just been a ton of fun to play and post and you guys have seemed to be loving it as well. So let's go ahead and go over all of these update ideas that I have for the game. And hopefully you guys do enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video at the end, go ahead and smash that like button. Drop a comment telling me, hashtag surf fam, I love the video. And let's go ahead and jump straight into this video. So, first idea I had for the game for Rules of Survival in the future updates was uh, being able to create a private lobby so you can host a bracket tournament. So, basically it's like Clash Royale where you're able to host a tournament like as a YouTuber. You can host a tournament and you have a password so that way only people you know or people you give the password to can join the tournament. So it would be in Rules of Survival. It'd be like an open world. Like I believe there's 120 people that can go in a match at a time. You can create like a match and um, you can invite people based on that. Like you can, you would be able to host matches with like my fans. You guys could come join and we could have like prizes and stuff like that to who comes in, like top 10, top five, stuff like that. Basically so you can like moderate who's inside the map, basically something like that. Second idea for the game was going to be customizable skins. So this goes for both the cars, motorcycles, guns, um, pretty much everything in the game. I think it'd be, there right now there's so many different skins in the game that are really awesome. So uh, they're doing a great job on that for the skins. It keeps it really refreshing and super fun to see. Like today I logged in, there were new skins today. Uh, the car skin looks amazing and the blue like I think it was an AR-15 skin. It looks absolutely amazing. But being able to customize your skins, kind of like in Call of Duty, um, if you could customize it, that'd just be so awesome. That would add like that extra pizzazz on the guns, and you know those guns are yours. So moving on to the third idea I had for an update, um, first person setting. So basically, I know a lot of people have this idea as well, so um, this isn't too much news. Basically, it's the same game, but you can shoot in first person. I mean, not much explaining goes into that one. First person instead of third person, or you could choose between them. So uh, my fourth idea was one-on-one -on -one matches in a smaller sized map, and you have three lives. So basically, it'd be like the game is right now. You drop in, you get your guns, you meet, um, the zone closes in, and um, it's just one-on-one, -on -one, you versus a friend or an enemy, trying to see who's better. You can gauge who's the better player then, and um, what you wanna do is you have three lives, and the first one to die three times loses. So basically, that's pretty much it. Not much more explanation goes into that one. Um, the fifth idea I did have for this um, update idea video was hosted brackets where you can give winners rewards. This kind of goes with my other idea of being able to have private lobbies, um, but in this case, you're able to like give them in-game rewards. Like, let's say you come in first place, um, I would buy you a skin, or I'd buy the skin before the um, tournament, and whoever wins, wins that skin, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. It made sense in my mind. So uh, moving on to number six, an icy map, an icy map, which would be set in a snowy area with cool skins and clothing to match. So basically, um, a map, like let's say in like Antarctica or something, but with snow all over the place, um, even just like um, one of the maps we have now, just with snow so you can hide and you get like white ghillie suits and all this really cool stuff. I think that'd be really interesting to play on. Maybe like different maps such as like in sand or like in storms and crazy stuff like that. There's a lot of different varieties of like uh, settings that we can play this game that would be really awesome that I'm excited to see uh, what we will expand to in the future. Um, next at number seven, uh, being able to spectate people on your friends list while they're in a match. So as you know, you have your friends list and um, you can invite them to a match if they're not currently in a lobby or currently in a match. But um, if they are in a match, it shows that they're in a match, but that'd be so awesome if you could go ahead and spectate them. We have that in games such as like Clash Royale. I know I keep using that as a reference because that's what my channel is as well. But um, if you could be able to spectate your friends and watch them, I think that'd be really cool as well. I have a couple of pros on my friends list that I'd really like to be able to watch them and learn a little bit from them because we all know my myself, you guys have the gameplay on the screen right now. 
I'm not the best. <laughs> I'm not the best ROS player ever, but um, I do have a ton of fun playing it, so I'd love to improve my ability. Moving on to number eight, we could have clans, and you could squad up with friends. So basically, it'd be like clans in any other game. You have a clan, uh, let's say it could have like 10 people max, and uh, all your friends can come in that clan, and that way it's easier to make uh, parties and communicate with each other. I think it, it would work out pretty well, and you get rewards like at the end of the season if your clan, um, like, if your clan does end up ranking high towards the end of the season, uh, you do get a reward for everyone on the team. So I think that'd be really cool and definitely something we could implement, which would also help out like competitive play for ROS. So uh, I'd like to really see that implemented very soon, hopefully in the near future. Um, number nine, we're gonna be moving at player ranks show in the matches. So as you know, when you're playing in a match, you don't really see their ranks. You see like their name and all that stuff. That'd be cool to see their ranks, like what are they? Are they in gold, silver, blah, blah, like any rank they are, um, it shows it right next to their name and you can see, I just built, I just beat an amazing player or I just beat a terrible player. But um, that'd be cool to see players ranks live in matches. Uh, moving on to number 10, last but definitely not the least, uh, being able to send friends packs to open. So there are all of those chests that you can open and um, I think it'd be really cool, like once a week you can choose a lucky friend to send in like the 6,000 coin chest or something like that. It'd be really cool to be able to share rewards with friends, send each other coins or um, just skins and a lot of cool stuff like that. Just be able to send people other stuff. <laughs> it would work out better as a YouTuber because we could do like giveaways through that. Um, it'd be really fun and definitely that would work out through like clans as well. Maybe you could choose like your top ranking person in the clan for the season, you give them blank reward. So. Those are all my ideas. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and drop a like. Tell me what you guys thought about all of those ideas. If you guys don't like them, tell me down below which idea you didn't like and why you didn't like it because I'd like to know what you guys thought. And if you did like an idea a lot, like more than others, go ahead and tell me what idea that was and why you liked it so much more than others. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more daily rules of survival content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!